Good early morning, everybody. Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. I had a visitor at 5 o'clock, 5.30 this morning, ringing on the doorbell. Seems Peeping Kenny and the gang are stirring up neighbors against us. And so a change of plans today. Word is that our Christmas lights that Melanie loves are keeping the neighbors awake at night. Uh, we don't have the yard light on over there, over the porch. Um, we have Christmas lights. And word is that it's keeping neighbors awake at night. So, the plans today are changed. Let me show you what we're going to do. Because we got to block these lights from keeping neighbors up. So, way back there is the neighbor. I don't think, I don't think there's a direct line of sight between their house and the... Christmas lights. But anyway, plans have changed today. Um, I am going to take this pile of wood. By the way, there's some pieces of my tent. i got to fix it. But now the priority is to take this slab wood and close off this gap today as fast as possible. Um, oh, and uh, I didn't tell you guys, I got a log splitter. Um, she swears that I'm running this in the middle of the night that she sees me running around at night, running the log splitter that I just bought, brought home. Um, yeah. Swears by God that I'm running this in the middle of the night and can see me running it at night. So, um, I paid not very much for this. It's got, needs some work. Um, the wheel fell off on the way home. I forgot to tell you about that. But uh, that was an adventure. Um, but anyway, here it is. As you can see, it hasn't been used in a while. But uh, there it sits for now. I haven't even got the straps off. I need to get the straps off so I have them in my truck. And get them off my trailer. But today, we're going to close this up. This is the new priority now. And I need to finish my security anyway. So... I'm just being pushed in the right direction. I got to finish that off. That's just a loophole right here with my machines back here. It's just a danger. And I want to get this pile of wood up. So I will, um, a lot of these are going to be cut up for firewood or used for garden fencing, which is what I'm going to do as well. A lot of these are going to be beautiful for the garden fencing. And over here I have a pile for Big fencing. So that's what we're going to do today. It's supposed to clear up in a while. The rain is going to stop. And uh, it's going to be a beautiful warm day. And we're going to get some fencing up. So we'll see you in a while. I've been out here. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm holding my hand by the camera. I've been out here sawing stuff for my fence. I'm just cutting up scrap wood that I had laying around. Failed stuff from previous sawmilling work and off cuts and scrap wood and now I'm cutting slabs for the fencing. Let me take you over here. This pile is growing. Uh, actually I'm going to re-sort this pile later but I've been digging through this pile looking for anything that might work for the fence lines. Sorting what is already edged, some are, from what is firewood, which a lot is, and things that have to be edged. I'm going to attempt to let you watch, since the machines are loud anyway, I'll try to let you watch me sawing out some lumber, some uh, slab wood edging. I find a little bit sheltered area for the camera to sit in, so you can watch me saw out a slab, a couple of them here. Let's see how it goes. By the way, I never did change the blade. I moved that off, and I'm using the same blade that I had on there that failed on the cedar. And it's cutting, I mean, you saw me pushing into the mill before on cedar. With this pine, I'm just pressing gently with a finger. It's so much different. Same blade and it cuts like butter. Um, obviously, I'm only cutting edges now, but I was cutting two by fours. So, let me get to it. Michelle.
Well, isn't that funny? The board slipped and I tore the blade off. So, um, I won't show you this right now. I'm gonna show you, hopefully, if I don't kill myself in the meanwhile, I'm gonna show you uh, me putting up some boards. All right, Michelle's gonna help me here. Guys, we're gonna hold this up. Together. All right, hold your end up right there. Ready? Hold it, hold it, hold it. Are you ready? All right, keep holding. Okay, wait. Ah, you gotta get this on. I'll be right there. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, you gotta hold it. Ah. All right, now let go. Watch. See this here? We want that there. Okay, so it's gonna be fun. I need to straighten that one. All right, I want you to pull that pole this way. Pull it to you. This no, the pull. Like that. Hold it. You got it? Okay. Hold it tight. Hold it. You got it? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put the screw in. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Let me check this. You did it. Oh, you did it. Yay, yay! Alright. No, and now you're stuck. They can be this. But I, I can do this. Oh, you can get it. I can't get through there. No, we can't. No. I can get it and I can get it. I can get it and I can get it. So we'll get that other one up higher. See, Daddy? That's going to be fun. I want to need somebody bigger for that one. Here we go. My assistant is playing ball, so she's preoccupied. Well, I did get the mill going again, and I cut a few more, but I'm running out of time. Next time I'll show you how I'm slabbing these out on the mill. Well, all of this, today, it rained half the day, so I didn't get as much done as I wanted, but <laughs> looking like a fort, isn't it? I like it. I've got to wrap it up now. I might come back a little bit later. I'm not sure. Let's see how it goes.